After waking up in a dark tunnel, you are faced with an interface that allows you to draw lines on a screen. If you draw the correct line, you can proceed to the next screen that you find. Why are you doing this? Nobody knows. Why would anyone want to keep drawing lines on a screen in order to unlock doors and clues about something completely unknown? To me, it seems very boring and idiotic, and yet, I can't stop. Instead of doing a full walkthrough with all puzzles, I will explain methods with which I solve the puzzles that brought me trouble. There are probably around 300 easy and 300 difficult puzzles on the island, so hopefully this won't take too long. It is fairly easy to exit the garden, so once that is completed, there is a beautiful spot showing the scenery. Don't you wish to touch the water with your balls just a tiny bit? Following the path takes us to a sealed door that can't be opened unless you complete a set of puzzles a bit further in the island. This large purple panel is first. To get it done, you must close off the white spots from the black ones using the line. The only one that was a bitch to do was the last one. Usually when you encounter these large panels, the last puzzle on it is slightly more difficult than the rest of them. I mean, this one is also relatively easy, but when you're still learning the puzzles, the logic might confuse you a bit. The other, green panel, is inside this building. These puzzles introduce the dots on the path. Every time a black dot appears, you have to pass over it before reaching the finish. The final puzzle was yet again a bitch, but the type of bitch your neighbor would buy, and then she would scream and bark the entire night while you're trying to sleep. Solving it brought immense satisfaction, which was really strange considering it is a puzzle about drawing lines, and I apparently have no clue why am I doing it. Once these two panels are solved, the white door becomes unlockable. This puzzle may seem like a next level puzzle filled with large bags of fuckery, but it is not that difficult. Following the two rules, surround the big white dots and go over the little black dots, the puzzle was solved faster than the previous, green one. After opening the door, we get to this box that is opened with a simple draw of a line. This shape is shown, and it is fairly important that you remember it. I didn't remember it, but luckily I recorded this, so I checked the footage and there it was. The next area is here in this greenhouse. The puzzles of this area include two lines that are drawn at the same time. The first panel was very simple, I assume its purpose was to introduce you to the mechanic of double symmetrical lines. The second panel was easy, just this third puzzle confused me a bit because the exits were on the opposite sides. The third panel got slightly more difficult, mostly because the final puzzle was distorted like some fat bastard sat on it before he placed it on this wall. Still, they weren't as difficult as they were confusing. After following the green wire on the floor, I got to this area with a relatively simple puzzle that opened a new area and more symmetrical puzzles. The first panel followed the logic of previous panels, but on a bit of a higher level. The third puzzle took an extra second to solve, while the fourth one was a bunch of ass maggots, because the symmetry was opposite. It took me a moment to get it done, because the combination that covered all black shits wasn't very obvious. What didn't make sense was the final puzzle. I expected something super difficult and suicidal, but it was this shit. Perhaps that was on purpose, because the next panel, which was nearby, had two lines that were different colors and contained not only little black dots, but blue and yellow ones as well. I could definitely notice a change in difficulty thanks to all these colors, but once the final puzzle appeared I started wondering was there a blue or yellow poison I could drink to end this suffering. It took a lot of strength and courage on my part to find the correct path for these motherfuckers, and once I found it, I felt like I opened some sort of a treasure room or something. What I opened was just another panel. But alright, I was certain I would survive this. Right at the start, the first puzzle violently assaulted my mind, but I found a solution and opened the next one, which was actually easier. When visiting the third one, I noticed how the yellow line kept losing its shit, and by the time I got to the fourth puzzle, it was gone. I was supposed to do a puzzle with an invisible line. That's fine though, puzzles are here to challenge us, to get us to violently stab our family with invisible pointy objects. I figured the yellow line must be in opposite symmetry with the blue one, so I carefully went line by line and succeeded. The final two puzzles weren't very difficult, because I started imagining the pointy objects in my hands, and it was very easy to practice the stabbing with them. Imagination is a wonderful thing, that is certain. Completing this panel opened the gate on the hill, so I went through and got to these parallel puzzles. I started with the left one, which was empty. This seemed strange, so I attempted a few combinations and they didn't work. Clueless about it, I went to the yellow side that had the yellow dots and completed it. So why is the yellow side so simple, yet the blue one is empty? Yellow, empty. Yellow, empty. Parallel, stupid. So by following the logic I explained, the empty one is a simply a mirrored version of the yellow one. 
This was correct, and I did the same thing with the second one. The third one, however, had something fucky going on with it. The exits were on the opposite sides, not mirrored. This brought an incredible amount of confusion to my face. I simply couldn't draw the correct line, no matter what I tried. What is even worse, every time I fucked it up, the puzzle blacked out like I gave it 2 liters of vodka. I had to repeat the second puzzle at least 15 times. But then I realized something. Why do I need to follow a certain path? Because of the stupid fucking yellow dots, that's why. So instead of mimicking the yellow line, I decided to picture an opposite version of the dots. Once I pictured the dots, I started drawing the line and got it correctly. Why couldn't I mimic the line? I have no idea. But as soon as I mimicked the dots, I did it the first attempt. Completing these bastards opened the telescope, or beam, or whatever the fuck this shit is. Our journey has just begun, and this island is full of opportunities to imagine very brutal and violent actions towards others, fueled by drawing lines. Thanks for watching, and if you know, please tell me, why do I enjoy this when it brings so much fuckery? I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.